Travis. I am the department chair here in aircraft maintenance. And I think you probably have a good idea of what we do here. Take a guess. Fix airplanes. So that's what we, that is what we teach people to do. We teach our students how to repair airplanes. Anyone here who's flown commercially, you know, you always see the pilots, you always see the flight attendants, but you don't think about what goes on behind the scenes. There's hundreds of us working in a hangar somewhere, keeping that aircraft safe, doing everything right, doing everything by the book, so that you get from point A to point B in one piece. And when we don't do our job right, what do you think happens? Failure. It's failure. It's that simple. So it's a very, very, very high responsibility in what we do. We spend most of our day working in a shop like this with airplanes, engines, landing gear, parts, electrical, whatever happens to be on the, on the list for that day. And then we spend a certain amount of time in the books, in the maintenance manuals, reading how to do this, how to repair this, how to rewire it, how to, how to correct the issue. And then a certain amount of time documenting it. In other words, we do an entry at the end of the day. This is what we fixed. This is what we repaired. This is how we did it. And make sure it's done to the FAA standard. The certificate that they're earning here allows them to work on anything from these little small airplanes that you see right behind here. This is called a Piper Tomahawk. It's a little two-seat trainer, all the way up to helicopters. You'll see a Jet Ranger right here. That's a normal helicopter. If you see if you see news copters flying over or PD, police department helicopters, a lot of them are Jet Rangers. We work on those all the way up to the largest airliners. And when we walk around that side, you'll see there's a there's a, an engine over there. It's a Pratt & Whitney JT-9 off of the 747. That is what we do. We, our certificate allows us to work on anything that flies. Question I always get from you guys is how long and what's involved? You can finish the program in two years and everyone always asks, do I gotta take my gen ed? Do I gotta take my math? Do I gotta take philosophy? Do I have to take art? All that fun stuff. No, not required. This is a certificate program. Mount SAC has hundreds of certificate programs, from nursing programs, welding programs, air conditioning programs, culinary programs, um, respiratory therapy, radiology. I could go on for days. And these are certificates that do not require you to take your gen ed. You, some, some of you guys aren't, aren't, into, aren't into study, they're not into history and math and philosophy. That's okay. This degree does, this certificate does not require you basically have to learn how to fix airplanes and you get the certificate and now you're employable you can, you can you can go to work you walk away with the certificate just like a driver's license just like a pilot's license we have a mechanics license you cannot work on aircraft without that license legally you have to have it but once you have it you are gold in the industry for the last 10 years our industry has been suffering from a major labor shortage. We cannot find enough people coming out of schools. So I don't like to say guarantee, but if you were to complete this program and have your certificate, you're pretty much guaranteed a job. Someone will hire you. Many someones will hire you. That's the state of the economy right now. And we're not expecting it to get any worse or better, depending on how you look at it. It's bad for the airlines. You can't find people. They're having to pay us crazy money and crazy overtime to keep people employed. It's great for the technicians. Lots of pay, lots of overtime, lots of jobs, lots of job security. So it's a great environment to get into. Um, some of the perks of it, if you like working hands-on, if you like working with your hands, it's amazing. We absolutely love it. We spend